Hi, it's Miranda. I'm not really crying crying. I kind of was, but a little bit of it is PMS. It's like I'm a little extra emotional right now. So don't worry. This isn't like, even though I've been going through things, you know, like everybody else has, who has a tendency to go through things, um, I don't usually film it or anything. And this is not one of those times. Like I said, I've just been a little emotional. And I was thinking now about some anxiety triggers and panic triggers and stuff. And if certain people see this, I think they're going to know why I'm reacting this way. Because I love you guys very much. I, th I think I realized one of the reasons, one of the big reasons probably that I watch YouTube, and this might sound really like, I don't know if it sounds like uh, anything to anyone, but I think one of the main reasons I watch YouTube so much and one of the reasons I don't like to go out is because I've always kind of felt like a bystander. So it's me kind of like being at that party that I, w that I went to that I was like acting like me. And then once my energy was done, once I was like, you know what, I'm tired. I just kind of felt like I was watching all these beautiful YouTube videos with all these beautiful people just doing their own things because I love the people I know. I love my family and I love my friends. And I know that we're not very close. It's the truth. We're not very close. And that's my fault. That's not anybody else's fault. Um, and I'm not as upset about that as some people would and it's not that I'm heartless. It's not it's none of that. Because I love everyone. It's just I just want to see them thrive. And I feel like I'm kind of a downer. And it's true, I am a downer. Um I'm being like I'm not trying to be like sad about myself. I like I'm I'm being very realistic and honest with myself here. I'm a downer. I'm one of those people who when somebody, if I cry, by the way, like I said, if I cry, this is PMS. It's not this because I've said this stuff before. I'm a downer because I have a tendency to just bring up sad shit that doesn't need to be brought up just because I thought of it because someone said like a thing. Like, for example, the movie AI immediately will make me think of a car accident I had about 20 years ago that shattered my pelvis. It was a big trauma for me, so... I make those associations and I know that's why I should have and I was going to. I said it in a video. I held myself accountable and look what I did. I'm sorry, past Miranda. I lied to you. I didn't do it. I'm going to get PMS again. Okay. I don't want to do that. I just want to say that I love my family. I love my friends. I just feel like I'm a downer and I feel like I understand that I'm just weird and I'm a, a little everybody's weird in their own way. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm so different. I'm just saying like, I'm the kind of weird that doesn't always mesh well with everybody at all times. And I feel like I'm either too much or just a little like, okay, Miranda. So I just kind of do my own thing. And I like doing my own thing. I love seeing everybody from time to time. I feel like I'm so glad you're doing like just seeing people doing well online makes me happy. I'm so glad. Like, I know people say we're disconnected and I'm like, but I, I guess I've always kind of been disconnected. If anyone in my family can tell you, this is not new for me. This, this separating myself, I've always done this since I was little. So whether it's part of depression or anxiety or anything, it's always just been a part of my personality, even just to sit and do something and keep myself busy and preoccupied. So when I'm not, I guess because of that, or I don't know what led to what, but I, I'm really good at seeing things happening and I'm really good at figuring stuff out in my head. But for some reason, when stuff is happening as it's happening, I can't, I kind of shut down. I can't handle it. My brain needs to figure it out. My synapses do not fire. I have to process. And I don't think some people understand that. And I think they think sometimes it's because I just, I don't want to deal with it. Sometimes that's true. I just don't want to deal with it. And I don't think that I need to specifically deal with it. I don't think I do. And other people may feel it like, 
but don't you care? It's not about that. It's about me protecting my mental health. Just like other people are trying to protect theirs, I'm trying to protect mine. So this is a bit of a rant, but I really felt like I wanted to get this out. It's only been five minutes. I just wanted to say, I love you, family. I love you, friends. If it seems like I'm separating myself from you, I don't want you to think it's because I don't care. It has nothing to do with that. Donovan is coming down. I got that out. It's not because I don't care, because I love you all very, very much. It's just, it's, it's, it's honestly me. <laughs> it's not you, it's me, but it's, it is me. I'm weird. I, I get that. I see people's eyes glaze over when I talk. <laughs> I see people like, you know, I've heard people talk about me in front of me. And I'm not talking about necessarily the family and friends who might be watching this. But I've seen people do that as if they thought I wasn't, either wasn't smart enough or wasn't, or didn't hear them. I have really good ears, by the way. I hear a lot of things. If I'm focused on something too much, then maybe I I missed it. But otherwise, I have a tendency to pick up on a lot. So, yeah, I know I'm weird. I know not everyone wants to hear me ramble all day. So that's guess what? That's why I'm doing this. I love you all. Please understand if I have to keep away from some things. Please understand. And I love you guys. And if this sounded very rambly to somebody and you don't understand what I'm talking about, I apologize, but this will probably mean something to somebody else, somebody somewhere, even if you're not related to me, even if you're not a friend of mine, just had to get that out. This is a little pms -y, but see, I, see, I told you it had nothing to do with that. I'm a weirdo. I just don't want people pretending they want to spend time with me when I can be frustrating to be around. I'm not saying that's always the case. I just sometimes I feel like I'm putting myself on people. Even since I was little, I remember seeing cousins looking like they didn't really want to spend time with me. I'm not naming anybody. I'm not calling anybody out. I have a lot of cousins. So anyone trying to think I'm talking about them, there's too many of you to really say anything, isn't there? There really is. So I love you guys. And um, I'm going to go now. This was weird. Bye. Bye. Bye.